So, you want to write a book, an article, a thesis, or just practice writing in general. So what is a good way to track goals, progress, and establish a good writing routine? Here's a fun fact. For as long as I can remember, one of the things I've always loved to do the most is writing. Not only short articles or journal entries, but long novels, complex stories that transport me to a completely different place, full of interesting characters and irrealistic settings. Actually, the first 500-page novel I ever wrote was completed in my first year of college, and I still blame it as one of the main reasons why my GPA in my first and second semesters was way below average, and that was because the only thing I wanted to do was writing that novel. I really did not want to study at all. I still keep that novel printed in a drawer, uh, and it serves as kind of a reminder of something that I feel really passionate about and that I want to get back to one day. However, since I started writing online and creating content, I was able to use my love for writing in a more practical way. A lot of what I do online requires research, understanding how to shift and transform what I read into easy-to-digest practical lessons. But at the same time, I still feel this urge to write longer, to develop my ideas and put more substance and more length to the things I like to talk about. And that's how I actually started writing a book. Uh, and I've been keeping this project very low profile and it still is very low profile. And that's simply because uh, I still have no specific deadlines in mind. For now, I'm just writing this book for the sake of writing and for the pleasure of writing. I have no contracts, no obligations. Um, and that has been allowing me to have a lot, a lot of fun in the process. So today I wanted to talk a bit about how I've been writing, the tools I'm using, the goals I set for myself, and how I'm tracking this whole process. And maybe this may inspire you too to write your own book or to improve your own writing routine. Okay, so let's talk about the tools. Since I started this project a couple of years ago, and I still have a lot of research currently stored in there, I'm currently using Scrivener, which is a great software for writers. It has a lot of features that make the writing process easier, faster, and more efficient. I think that Scrivener really excels at organizational tools, which are important if you're writing a lot of research-based content. So you'll use their outliner, a corkboard, and a split-screen editor a lot. It also allows you to easily export your work in multiple formats, including PDF, Word, EPUB, and Kindle. In addition, it can be synced with Dropbox, allowing you to access your project from any device and to easily share it with your team. However, if you're more into fiction, stay tuned to the end of the video because there's a great new tool that is literally everything a fiction writer could ever want. More about that later. And of course that I consider this book a project. However, it's definitely not one of the most urgent and high priority projects I have on my list right now, because it's actually a project that derives from self-care. It makes me feel good about myself whenever I can do some progress in my book. At the same time, this is also a sort of escape mechanism from this content creating routine and from my day job routine. So I like to keep this routine very, very simple. Because of this, I prefer to write in the evening. This is when my energy is lower. So I already used my energy peak to actually work for my job and my business. And now I can simply relax with a nice cup of tea and enjoy my evening writing. And as you probably know, any kind of writing challenge, writing endeavor needs goals. And those goals need to be set and you need to decide what your goal is according to your own circumstances. So of course that a full-time writer will be capable of writing way more than someone who only has 20 minutes available every single day. When you're creating your own writing goal, it doesn't really matter how much time you have in your day to dedicate to this activity. What matters is that you find a habit and a routine that works with your lifestyle, that works with your routine and your schedules, and that you consistently keep to that routine for a long time. Even if it means writing only 15 minutes every single day, 
that's way better than trying to look forward to a whole hour of writing on the weekends because that way you're not as involved in the process of writing as you should. There are also two different ways you can measure your daily or weekly writing goal. Number of words or time spent writing. Number of words or volume doesn't necessarily equal quality. For many writers, the flow state they enter and the amount of time they spend in the fictional world they're creating is a better metric than word count. Personally, my goal is very simple. My goal is to write around 500 words every single workday. When I'm not able to write, I carry over the missing words over to the weekend where I'm capable of carrying out longer, more intense writing sessions. When I was creating my writing routine, I also knew I did not want to mistake the time I was spending writing with other work I was working on or other projects on the table. So I basically decided that my writing space would have to be different from my usual working space. So while during the day I'm working in my home office, in the evening I grab my MacBook, brew a nice cup of tea and start my writing routine in the living room, a completely different environment that allows me to change my mindset completely. This ritual also gets me in the mood for writing faster as I associate this specific spot with a specific task as well. And here's a note on inspiration. My day job as a legal advisor requires a lot of writing to be done on a daily basis at a very fast pace. My job as a content creator also requires a lot of writing to be done consistently in different formats too, every single week and sometimes every single day. So if there's any tip I can give to anyone who wants to start writing consistently and even on a daily basis, don't wait for inspiration to arrive. You have to understand that you'll only feel inspired once you start writing and sometimes it can take a couple of minutes or even you know an hour to arrive waiting for the perfect little sentence to pop up magically in your head before you start writing is a big mistake and that's simply because your mind cannot be engaged in the process of writing without you actually writing Starting a writing session with a weak or poorly written first sentence or paragraph is a typical occurrence and it will never dictate the quality of the rest of your script, your text or your book. You can always go back and rewrite it, edit it and cut things out once you get into the flow. So consistency and repetition is way more important than feeling that whatever you're writing down is perfect and is gold. Also, repetition promotes experimentation. You try out different styles of writing. Maybe you are brave enough to write sentences in a style that you probably would never be able to if you're constantly thinking about what you want to write down. So just going with the flow and feeling free to write whatever you want, remembering that you can always go back to it afterwards and edit it and cut it out is way more important than just staring at a blank page. And if you're a fellow writer or an aspiring one, there's an incredible tool I wish I had back in the day while I was writing that 500 page fantasy book. And that is World Anvil. World Anvil allows you to create your own world Bible, manage your plot and characters, write your novel and even publish and monetize your way. You can track everything from character motivation to timelines to geography and create your own full world backstory. And you can also get involved in an amazing community that helps you showcase your ideas and even add in an editor or a co-author. Everything is backed up constantly. And as I said earlier, it also features a complete novel writing software with the built-in focus mode. And because everything is based on the cloud, you can literally write from anywhere. And also remember, you can use promo code MARIANA to get 40% off your annual membership during checkout. I really hope you've enjoyed today's video and I'll see you next week. Bye guys!